greenhouse design. A greenhouse can sometimes be called a hothouse, and it's generally a building where plants such as uh, flowers and vegetables are usually grown. Most of the time, these kind of structures are covered by glass or fiber, and then translucent plastic roofs. So today, uh, we look at small-scale smart farming design ideas by Michael Mkaira. There are very many types and categories of greenhouse structures, but we shall look at the three main uh, or three major categories, and uh, we shall further concentrate on one of the three. So category one, we have the detached or concrete. Then we have category two, the ridge and follow or the gutter connected. And then we have lean two as our third uh, category of greenhouse structures. Category one, we the detached or concrete greenhouse structure uh, as seen here. This is the type which is based on the arched roof and it can further be divided into two categories as well or two types. We have uh, the type where the entire arch goes all the way to the ground which is the kind of uh, uh, direction we shall be following today. Then we also have another form where uh, the arch is arched on the straight vertical walls. The advantage with uh, the advantage with uh, this kind of uh, detached greenhouse structure is that it's the least expensive of all the greenhouse structures. But it also has one big disadvantage in that uh, the arched shape reduces the headroom to the sides, and that in a way reduces the entire. Uh, available space within the entire greenhouse uh, shed. Category two, we have the ridge and follow or the gutter connected greenhouse structure. And uh, under this category, basically, you, it is characterized by the, uh, by the ridges. And then you have the gable roof that is much higher than the ridge, thus creating uh, a good advantage for heat to accumulate as uh, they capture direct sun rays. Category three, we have the lean two. These are usually small in scale and attached to people's houses or garages. There is just quick access straight away from the house uh, to the greenhouse. So in regard of that today, uh, by use of Archicad, shall be looking at the design or designing a simple detached concept greenhouse structure on a small piece of land 50 feet by 100 uh, dimensions. So uh, this is what we have in plan layout. As I said, we are basically dealing with a small piece of land 100 feet by 50 feet. Uh, additionally to the entire uh, greenhouse shed, we do have a nursery bed, and we do have another small structure which is basically for security purposes and uh, storage. Can have a few things and tools that you might want to store on site. Then we can also put um, a toilet area where one can always use themselves. So this is the entire structure. And uh, when we take a look at this in 2 3D, this is what we have. Uh, we do have our nursery bed here. All these have been raised off the ground for so many uh, reasons. This is the access to the entire uh, greenhouse uh, arrangement. 
I've put three openings for ease of entries and exit, but also saturation purposes. And uh, we do have our arches anchored uh, on its concrete, uh, concrete pillars. Uh, so this is the kind of structure we do have. These concrete pillars are uh, good because then they help uh, to strengthen the structure support. I've also used some timber pieces to divide uh, the portions under which one can do the gardening. So we basically have uh, we have uh, four uh, four main areas of uh, or sections where we can plant our vegetables. So once again, uh, today we are looking at smart farming ideas on a small scale. This is something one can do uh, on their small piece of land. Uh, the shade could be smaller than this, it doesn't have to be this big. Uh, but even when it's this big, it can still fit on a small piece of land like 50 by 100. Once again, I will come you to uh, my educative videos uh, keep posted for the next video uh, and keep following. Please subscribe. Thank you.